What's the deal with roller skiing, and why does it seem so popular this summer? Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, a 2017 study shows 40% of Summit High School students have used a vape pen in the past month, but talk to the students, and they'll say it's even higher. It's prevalent everywhere, and I would not just generalize it to school activities and athletic activities. It's it's all around the county. It's pretty crazy. That was Courtney Brown with the Youth Empowerment Society of Summit. Tonight, she and members of a tobacco task force will be at the Breckenridge Town Council meeting for public comments on new nicotine laws, like raising the age limit to 21 years old. She expects some pushback, especially on taxes, but they won't back down. I want people to know that we are here and that we're doing something. I want people to respond. I want people to ask questions. I want people to be concerned. Dylan last week became the first town to support those new stricter nicotine laws. All local towns and the county vote on similar laws this month. Frisco is finally getting a new cell tower. The Summit Daily reports a contractor is erecting a Verizon tower right now on the 400 block of Galena Street Alley, attached to the Frisco Center building. A Verizon rep told Crystal 93 late last year that tower would be finished by early summer. Now, a rep says it will be ready by mid-October, although it might not be online until the holidays. Authorities in Denver are rethinking dockless scooter laws after the city's first e-scooter fatality. Multiple agencies report a 26-year-old man from Montana was riding a Lyft scooter in West Denver when he crossed an intersection and got hit by a car. He died last Friday, about one week after the crash. In Summit County, e-bikes and e-scooters are allowed on all rec paths, but Frisco and Breck have outlawed dockless models like Lyft and Lime scooters. Speaking of the rec path, does it seem like there are more roller skiers than ever this summer? Olaf Hedberg with Summit Nordic Ski Club sure hopes so. The cool thing I have noticed this summer is that I've actually seen several other people that's not use Summit Nordic Ski Club. How does roller skiing work? First, you use your same poles as the winter. Then, you use your same boots. And finally, the skis are basically like uh, cross-country skis, but they're much shorter and have two wheels on them. Athletes use skis for classic and skate training, but why is year-round skiing so important for the Nordic Club? For us, it's super important to get in this summer training and this fall training, so we are ready when the race starts, and then it becomes a very intense performance season. Summit County estimates upwards of 100,000 people use the Summit Rec Path every month in the summer, but they do not know what areas or activities are most popular. Help the county learn more about the Rec Path with a new user study. It's the first of its kind, telling officials what you you do on the path to guide permitting and funding. Find that study online now at summitcountyco.gov. Local fire danger is low today with no fire restrictions. In sports, the Rockies lost to the Diamondbacks last night 8-6. Today, the Rockies continue their D-back series at 640. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon. The final race of the Summit Trail Running Series is tomorrow, Wednesday, with 8K and 14K courses at Carter Park. Get signed up at BreckenridgeRecreation.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.